if I'm going to be honest with you, if you have some big projects coming up in like now I came to rock, I came to move the crowd, I came to scream. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks once again for tuning in and hanging out with your nerdy friend. It's pre aka nerdy. Um this video is a little different. I just got the new Mac Mini uh, in one chip uh, and this is this like to preface this. I'm not like a tech reviewer. I don't do acronyms. I don't do gigabytes or storage and all this stuff. But this guy that draws <laughs> has clients, works in the industry uh, for entertainment, and that's it. That's my perspective. It's, there's nothing sponsored or try to cater to our audience. Let me just jump into it. As you read, uh, the Mac Mini does actually have some issues, and it can, in fact, break. Uh, and I have broken it, uh, not in the sense of it's overheating or you can hear the fan running. If you do hear a fan right now, that's actually coming from my uh, Wacom Sensei 24, the fan that's internally built into that. The Mac Mini itself is completely quiet. You can't hear it at all. The issue is Photoshop, Blender, and TV Paint, uh, and also Procreate. So uh, I do storyboards for a living. I'm a freelance storyboard artist. I do animatics and just basic boards. Um, my iPad Pro is, is untouchable. It, it's it's my baby. It, I, I've been drawing on this thing for forever. Uh, I'm going to have the old generation iPad from 2016. That was the one that got me all this other stuff. <laughs> so uh, that one is my workhorse. And then this one is my I Get Stuff Done or it's my new 2018 um, at, uh, iPad Pro. But I upgraded the Mac Mini because I was one, I was planning on buying the older 2020 Mac Mini with the Intel cores and to upgrade the RAM, I was like, oh, it's going to be powerful, I can do all types of stuff with it. And but then I was like, also, the new Mac Mini is coming out and it has this new chip and it's supposed to be way faster, I should just wait. And so I waited and it's funny because 92 months later, this new one came out, I ordered it, it came in in seven days really quick because they quoted me for December, I actually got it like yesterday. So. I bought it on the 11th and got it on the, on the 18th, really super quick. But I plug it in, I transfer all my, my, my files over, and I'm running into the issue that when I try to set up Photoshop or open up Photoshop, the application will open. But say if I want to create a new um, document, it doesn't allow me to create a new document. Now it's weird because I can create old docs, like I can open old documents, old P, uh, PDS files that are already on my uh, computer and then I can draw them and create new folders and do such and such but I can't create a new custom page and I'm not sure if that's like a uh, Rosetta issue or some internal issue but that's what's happening for me and so I was like all right maybe it's just this one little thing it still works but it doesn't work work right um, so then obviously I jump into blender so I do storyboards also, sometimes pre previews and do layout and um, Blender. It's very powerful, right? Of course, it's free. Everybody should have it. Uh, jump into Blender. Blender opens up no problem. It's really smooth. It's really buttery. Uh, you can just get in there. You can do all your type of normal stuff. In the rendering settings of Eevee, when it's in the render settings of Eevee, it works just fine. It's really, really quick. Um, but as soon as you're in like render view and say you want to view your settings or view what you have as a cycles file it crashes blender instantly now that might just be like i said m1 trip not being uh the software not being updated to run the new m1 chip uh, to be honest i think the cycles uses like a cpu slash gpu and i tried switching between both but i don't think the since it obviously has not been updated, I don't think it understands that, <laughs> you know, everything's on one chip now, you know, it's all just sharing the same information and, and whatever it does for the M1 chip. So, as of right now, Blender Cycles does not work. Blender's Eevee works just fine. Blender Cycles does not work at all. Um, and my other software, which is uh, TV Paint. Um, I don't use Storyboard Pro, I use TV Paint. So, TV Paint, right now, I have, I, have, I bought it a long time ago, so I have the dongle still. Um, when you open up TV Paint, it has like, oh, do you have the dongle? Can you uh, plug it in to access it? So you hit OK, because the dongle's in there. 
it crashes. It doesn't even open. It just crashes instantly. It can't even remotely figure out how to how to start that software. So out of the three, well, out of the four softwares that I use, I'm gonna get to Procreate in a second. Out of the four softwares that I use, one kind of works with a with a glitch. The other one kind of works, but only one part of it, <laughs> and one doesn't work at all. And then uh, for Procreate, one of the reasons I was excited about the M1 chip and also Big Sur is because there is a rumor that, well, it's not a rumor, it's known that apparently iPad apps and some uh, iPhone apps can come onto the Mac now. Now, Procreate obviously is, is my baby. That's where I work and do all my, like, 99% of my work is in Procreate. And then I turn to everything out to get what I need to get done. But you can't download Procreate right now <laughs> inside of the uh, App Store on the new uh, M1 chips or new iStore as of right now. Uh, this is. November 21st. So as of November 21st, 2020, you cannot upload, uh, procreate onto your new Mac. I can use on my on my on my iPad, which is great. But that the whole little sidekick was like, oh, I can now work on my Cintiq, my 24 Cintiq Pro in Procreate. Oh, that's awesome. You can't do it, so don't think that you can. Also, there's some weird bug going on with Sidecar not working with Big Sur. I haven't figured out how to get past it, but maybe somebody on our internet has but as of right now I can't I haven't figured out how to get past it so that's the issue so there's a lot of little small nitpicky issues um, but if you're just gonna if you just want to know the generalities new Mac mini I have, I got like kind of the middle middle high end level <laughs> I got a 16 gig uh, Mac mini uh, in one with uh, one terabyte of storage <laughs> If you want to talk about the speed, it is super fast. Native apps run fine. There's 40,000 videos on Final Cut, so you know it works fine. Obviously, you're watching the video. Uh, all the other native apps on there work just fine. Um, but if you're more of the creator side, and that's probably why you're watching this video, yeah, we're going to be honest with you. If you have some big projects coming up in like the next month or two, I would say don't switch directly to the Mac Mini. Uh, you can still purchase it, but don't think that you're just going to be able to do everything on the Mac Mini. Keep your laptop and then buy the Mac Mini maybe in a little bit. And then once everything gets fixed, then probably switch really to the Mac Mini. Um, for me, luckily I still have my laptop, so I can still get a lot of my work done. But I would just say that Mac Mini is really great. Just not right now for artists and, <laughs> and creators, but it will get there. So with that said, just hold off for a bit if you're a creator. Uh, these fixes will be fixed, but just not right now. Don't put all your eggs into one basket. Keep that old workhorse, your old iPad, your old, your old uh, MacBook Pro, any, or your old Mac. Just keep working on that. And then, about two months from now, switch to this so that way you can uh, be efficient. But other than that, that's it, guys. That, I just wanted to put this up there because there's no other videos up there talking about like. 3D packages like Maya, Blender, any of that. No one's talking bad about Photoshop. No one's talking bad about things that are not working. Um, I know everyone's like, oh, you don't run 2018 uh, Photoshop. Look, it's the software that I like, the version that I like. A lot of artists do that, so I think it's fair to put this video out there. Um, if you have a great, that's on you. But I just want to be honest with people since not a lot of people are being very honest and uh, and not like you know catering to the audience i'm just trying to put general information for everybody out there so with that said uh thanks once again for tuning in to hang out your nerdy friend it's brie aka nerdy uh, this isn't my normal video but i just want everybody to be informed and on the same page and on well, aware of what they're getting into the mac mini is awesome but it has limitations as of right now it's a new entry device so it's gonna have issues and these are the issues that i've run into and that you may run into. Okay. Let's say guys. I'll see you later. And as always, stay nerdy people. Now I came to rock. I came to move the crowd.